In this video, we will learn MS Word 2019 in just 15 minutes. Before wasting any time, let's begin the video. Press Window key plus R and just write Win Word and press Enter. When you open MS Word 2019 for the first time, the start screen will appear. From here, you will be able to create new documents. Choose a template and access your recently edited documents like this. From the start screen, select blank documents to access the Word interface. All the recent versions of Word include a ribbon, the quick access and a quick access toolbar where you will find the commands to perform common tasks in Word as well as backstage view. Here is the backstage view. Now we will again go to edited window. Word uses a tab ribbon instead of traditional menus. The ribbons contain multiple tabs like home tab, insert tab, design tab, layout tab and refresh references tab. If you find that ribbon takes up too much screen space, you can hide the ribbon. Here you can hide the ribbon. Here I select auto hide ribbon. And if you want to get written back, then you show get select this and in home tab you will select this pin the ribbon control or you use control plus f1 another most amazing feature in ms word 2019 is tell me feature if you are having trouble finding a command you want tell me feature can help you Works just like a regular search bar, type what you are looking for and list of options will appear here. Here I am right picture. Sorry. Here. Pictures. You can then use the command directly from the menu without having to find it on the ribbon. Select on, click on insert picture and insert your picture. Let's I am insert this one. Another feature in MS Word 2019 is a ruler. The ruler is located at the top and to the left corner. It makes it easier to adjust your adjust your documents. With the precision, if you want to add ruler, go to the view tab and go to the view tab and click on ruler. Now we will discuss about saving a document. When you create a document in Word, you will need to know how to save it and so you can access and edit it later. Words offers two ways to save a file, save and save as. These options work in a similar ways with a few important differences. First of all, we know how to save. Click on file, then click on save button and then click on this PC. Here you just write the name of your file. Let's I'm right here, student and select your location documents and then click on save button and your files saved in your PC. After that, you just click the save command to save it with the same name and location. Like this. If you will save as command, a copy of documents will be generated while keeping original. For save as, you click on file and click on save as and Click on this PC and select your location. Let's I'm paste this file in documents and click on save. So we go back to edit window and start editing. If you are new to MS Word, you need to learn the basics of typing, editing, and organizing the text. Now in edit window, we'll type any types of text like I'm type here a uh, quick brown box. over the lazy toe. If you want to go to next line, we use enter key. You can also use arrow keys on your keyboard to move insertions point. Before you can move our format text, you will need to select it. If we want to perform any formatting on this text, first we will select this text and then we perform any formatting. Like if we want to change the font style, then click here 
and select your desired font and if you want to board your text click on b or italic for click on i and if you want to underline any line then click on u and here's the lots of options for underlining your text and next is copy and paste now we will sum copy our text from wikipedia let's if you want to copy any text then select your text press ctrl c and then go back to your documents and here you press ctrl v all of the selected text will be pasted here if accidentally i'll delete some text then we use undo and redo command let's suppose i'll delete some type of text this one and now i want to go back this text i'll use undo command or we press ctrl z and your all of the deleted text will back in your documents if we want to add let's suppose i have a lots of line with uh, right here quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and we want to, to perform different formatting select and here's the lots of formatting if you want to increase your font then click this one or decrease your font and this click this one if i want all of the text in uppercase then we go here and select uppercase if i want all of the paragraph in uppercase then we go there and click on uppercase according to your choice let's suppose i'll copy this text control c and paste for control v to new line we press use enter key Now I want to use bullets in my paragraphs. Paragraph are in lines. First of all, you select your lines, then go to paragraph menu, click on bullets library and select your desired bullets. And if you want to insert your number, insert numbering, then click on this one. And if you change your heading style, then select your paragraphs and click on heading. In search tab, you can add lot of add or insert lot of things and you know, lot of things in your documents. Like in insert tab, I want to add table in my documents. Click on table and then select your rows and columns in your table. If you want to add uh, table according to your choice then click on insert table and enter number of columns let's i'm enter each columns and uh, five rows then click on okay and your tables will be inserted in your documents here is some table styles now go back to insert options and here is the most amazing feature is insert picture click on insert picture select this device and select any type let's i am select this one now many ways to format picture in word for instance you can change the size or shape of image to better suit your documents you can also enhance its appearance using word image adjustment tools like here i am decrease the image size and now i am perform different picture styles here is the lots of picture styles click this one and choose your picture style if you want border like which color you want then select this one from theme color that's i choose green if you want to add some effects on this 
picture then go to effects option and click on your desired effects in insert tabs you can also add header and footer if you want to add a header in your documents click on header and then select it select your desired header also if we want to add footer and page number then click on footer and also you can check or uh, add your page number in your documents so that's all about insert you can also add information from wikipedia in in add your documents using wikipedia option click this one and add your and search some information from your wikipedia in design tab you can add lots of uh, heading lots of perform different headings on your documents let's select your documents and perform documents formatting like this this and this one you can also add different colors and different headings you can also change your font style in heading font style sorry also we perform different effects paragraph spacing and if you want to add watermark in your documents then click on watermark in design tab click on custom watermark and add here i add your watermark in text i'm add student i'll adjust layout diagonally and press ok and here's the watermark and if you change your theme color then select your color your page background color will be changed for page border click on border and choose your any let's i choose 3d border and border will be on your documents in layout tab you can see the options about page setup so let's first of all you can choose the margin let's i am select narrow if we select moderate then your layout format do your documents layout will be changed in orientation we will select portrait or landscape if you use landscape here then your page in the position of landscape mostly we will use portrait is the size of your documents columns if we want to move your paragraphs in three uh, three or four or two columns then select your paragraph and go to columns option and click on two your page will be converted into two columns in this video i'll show you just the introduction of ms word 2019 in upcoming video we will learn how to create a resume how to work with charts how to get information from the wikipedia and lots more so subscribe our channel for more interesting videos thank you